it's been a while. How are you? I hope you're enjoying July, wherever you are in the world, whether it's very hot or cold. Here in the UK, it has been pouring down today. Um, it doesn't feel like July at all. You may be able to hear strange noises in the background for this. That's because my little Labrador pup is, we've taken all of her toys away because they all either squeak or make some kind of noise. She's got a single Kong. She's making quite a lot of noise with that Kong, so we'll see how that goes. Um, how are you? I hope you're well. We've actually, oh, sun's come out. So British. Um, we've actually just come back from a lovely holiday, family holiday in Italy. We went to, um, it's okay, she's found another toy, but it's a non-squeaky one. Uh, we went to um, an area of Italy called Lazio. Um, and we went to a farmhouse that we've been going to for many years now, haven't been there for a while, in um, Lazio in Italy. It's about an hour um, from Rome and it was lovely. We had my um, three sons came and our, my, our daughter-in-law and our little grandson. So it was absolutely lovely and we were, it was so hot. But we were fortunate enough to have a pool um, and to watch, um, to watch him in the pool learning to, well, not learning to swim, but learning to be really comfortable in water and having those times was so lovely. And actually we thought it was really hot. It was about 95, 96 degrees when we were there. But apparently in Italy at the moment, it's nearly 120. So I don't know what we would have done actually. Um, and we mainly stayed um, at the farmhouse. It's a fairly quiet part of Italy. It's quite, it's uh, where a lot of olive oil comes from and it's not very touristy. So it was lovely and quiet, she said, being a tourist. Um, we ventured into Rome, which was unbelievably hot and crowded. Um, lovely, but we were, I think, quite relieved to get back home, actually. Willow Boo. Just listen to me. Um, yeah, one of the lovely things there was the, uh, we were woken up every morning, we had a big uh, tree outside our window. And one of the things that we were woken up with was, I think it was the golden oriole it was called a bright yellow bird and it was it was just lovely it was delightful we had there were owls and and also of an evening we used to go down to the pool of an evening sort of to cool off and the the bats used to come down which were absolutely beautiful um and the birds so I, I used to think the birds were coming down to have a drink out of the pool but they were getting insects off the top of the pool and it was just lovely. It was a really beautiful holiday. And yeah, we've come home to um, not very summery weather at all, actually. I hope it's the start of school holidays soon, so I hope it gets better for the children. And we missed Willow. She actually, it was, she was quite young to go to kennels, but they actually said it was quite a good thing for her to do. She's now chewing my chairs. Um, because the more they do when they're younger, the the better it is for them and she actually had a great time I think they were sending pictures of her and I think she probably didn't want to come home but yeah we really missed her um she can you hear willow boo come here stop chewing she's literally gone through um one of the struts on our chair she's gone right through it not the kitchen table and chairs although that's got bite marks from she's a third labrador now to bite that she's made more damage than any of them but no one of these chairs she's gone right through by the spray you say they don't like that she loved it it was i think it's bitter apple or something like that didn't put her off at all um she's growing up a bit now i think she's got most of her teeth so I think we're in the last few weeks of her chewing her way through our home. To be fair, Archie chewed a wall. So really, I think we've got off quite lightly with the chairs. But she's lovely and hopefully I'll oh, put some footage in so you can see how she's growing. I mean, she was, I think I measured her when we first got her and I think she was, centi she was 30 centimetres 
She's huge now, absolutely huge. But she is lovely, aren't you, Boo? We've actually got a stair gate up at the moment and one of her toys, she's just dropped to the other side. It's not gonna be long before she's over the top of that. You can buy um, pens for puppies. She'd be over that in an absolute second. Anyway, she's lovely. She's very her, she's very boo, she's very individual, but um, also I see so much of Monty and Archie in her. Don't I? I would say come and say hello, but you'd cause chaos, wouldn't you? You would cause chaos. You gonna go to sleep? Oh, you're so tired, you must be so tired. Anyway, it's like having a baby. Oh, I've said that to quite a few people actually. It's just, you know, oh, she's sleeping through the night and uh, yeah, she's changing her food now. It's like having a baby again. If you've had a lab puppy or, or probably any puppy, you know what I mean. Anyway, I wanted to show you a few things. I'm sorry, my husband came to the rescue and he's taken her out for a walk. I couldn't put her outside even because it was pouring with rain and Labradors are supposed to love water. She will not go out in the rain. You know, she sticks her paws in. Anyway, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I'm gonna show you this first. I've just had a birthday. I had a lovely time, lovely day. And I've got a couple of lovely gifts that I would like to show you. So this is from, which I'm, both of them, I will, oh, sorry, I've probably made noise on there. I will absolutely treasure. This is from lovely Sharon, who is SCR1TNO, Knitting Project. Done it, I always get her name wrong. Look at this. And what makes this even more special is she, um, she knitted this out of our Advent yarns. So I absolutely... Oh, she sent me another couple of things as well. She sent me a lot. She always sends me lovely parcels. She's been really looking after me over the last few months, and that is just beautiful. So thank you, Sharon. I will treasure it. She's made me lots of lovely things. And actually, at the moment, it's really lovely to have that put on because even though it's summer and it's wool, I this is the kind of thing. I, if I go out for a drink of an evening or something like that, I would take that with me. So isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Sharon. And, oh, this card, sorry, I'm finding myself with. This lovely card, this is from Vivian, who made me this willow. So clever. Um, and this is a card. Now, this was, I think this is the flower of linen. I've got a memory, my brain fog. I think it was a flower of linen. How beautiful is that? And I think that's a little embroidery pattern as well. That's a lovely account. Um, so aren't they lovely? I've just absolutely blown over by those. Thank you, ladies. And thank you for all the lovely messages and everything that I got. You're so sweet remembering. Um, it's my mum's birthday today. And also my dad, he's not here anymore, but it's my dad's birthday as well. And when they met and they were sort of getting to know each other, um, they were sitting together, my mum's told me, they were sitting together on a wall, sort of talking. And he was sort of saying, oh, when's your birthday? And my mum said, oh, it's, it's July the 14th. And he said, so is mine. Oh, amazing. Anyway, so happy birthday, mum and dad. Um, oh, that'll get, right. <clears throat> so something else I wanted to show you was something, this is just a part of it. I've got a big, a big bag of this and this is something that I've had for a while now um, I don't know who did it. I've, it I came across it in a charity shop and just thought I've got to have that the thought that somebody each one of these squares um, are in a different stitch and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know why the lady didn't finish it. I've also got in there, I won't get up because I'll have to take this off, but I've also got in there a little dress that she started making, which I, oh, and when I took it out the bag, a few of the stitches came off and I really don't know how to fix those because it's so delicate, but 
I don't know what to do with that. But these I thought I would just sew together um, and back with um, fabric and make it sort of a quilt with a woolen top batting and a fabric back. I feel like something has to be done with them I and mean, I've had them for a while and I get them out every now and then I think what could I do with that? I think that's what I'm going to do. But isn't that lovely? So whoever did this, I don't know if you're, if you got fed up with it and decided not to finish it or if you're no longer with us, but that is being very much cherished by me and I get it out. I wrote a blog post actually on um, Patreon the other day about stitching and one of the things I said in there is it's like, do you ever have fabric that you get out or, or something like this, something precious to you that you get out and you look at it and you have a little feel and you plump it up and then you put it back away and it, it doesn't matter that you haven't used it. It's almost like sometimes you get a, a lovely, lovely book and you're saving it for later. And, and the point of what I was saying in the article was that's what I'm like with fabric scraps. I keep them because I think I'm doing something and I think, oh, I know what I can put in that. Anyway, what would you do with that? I think that's the best thing I could do with it. I could probably make something out of it as well, but I don't know if I'm clever enough to do that. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I thought that was lovely. Um, I am just about to start a bit of crochet using um, a wagtail yarn and I'll show you something in a second with that. Now, I was looking through, oh, I can't remember the website now. Uh, no, it's gone. I can't remember what the website was. Anyway, there was a Stella McCartney um, crochet bag on there. Maybe I'd looked up crochet, I don't know. And I thought, well, that's lovely. Um, Eye-wateringly amount, a huge amount of money. And it was, um, it was, it was kind of like four granny squares with a gusset and then a gold chain all round. Um, yeah, obscene amount of money. And I thought I'm going to make one, I'm going to make myself one because I love crochet is something that uh, Sharon who knitted this said to me the other day, what, what are you doing with your, do you use your advent yarns? And I like to crochet. I'm still doing my, um, granny stripe blanket, which I'll try and put some footage of here in because I haven't brought it with me. But that is, um, if you crochet and if you're doing a blanket, you'll probably understand. It doesn't matter actually if you've been doing it for two or three years, which I probably have. It's just still nice to just pick it up and say, oh, I'm going to do a few, I'm going to do a few rows of that. Um, so that's my plan, Stan. I'm not quite sure if mine will be quite as chic as Stella McCartney's. She's got some lovely skincare stuff out as well. Um, but that's the plan. Talking of wagtail, this was actually the wagtail yarn that we did last year. We've sort of slightly tweaked it this year. And so there's the dark again, the same as here. It's been slightly skeins differently. But we've actually put some speckles on this year as well, added that to it. So wagtail is going to be going in the shop only a couple of skeins because we are so busy at the moment, it's bonkers and I'll explain that in a minute. And this is Noir, this is uh, Mohair and this is Wren Mohair. I don't even think we're going to get around to putting Wren in the shop this week because it's, we've got to uh, photograph it as well. But there's some new little birds. Oh, and the Wagtail Minis. So that's going into the shop. But so like I said, the bag that I'm doing, I'm using this, which is um, MCN, whereas this is our four ply sock. So it will look slightly different to how uh, the current wagtail looks. And also, matchy matchy, we've also got um, long tail tit that will be going in the shop again, hopefully next week, um, <clears throat> which has got pink in it which goes very well with the bags. So this is the, this is linen and a beautiful black and white cotton lining. 
and a little box pouch because I love these little box, box pouches and a little lavender bag. So that's kind of what's new new. Literally, that's it this week because we have we are currently doing um, the advent Dickensian Yuletide advent, um, which um, if you receive our newsletter, you would have seen me say on there that um, the invoices were going out. I think I finished them now, so you should have had an invoice for that. That's your final payment for your Dickensian Yuletide advent. That's the advent which is 24, uh, 20 grand minis every day. We won't have any spares of that. I was hoping, I know I have got a few people on the waiting list, but we, we're not going to be doing any more of those. I'll talk about the other advent we've got at the end, if I've got time, but um, we're working on the advent. We've got a folklore box, which I'll tell you about later. We've got our nature journal box. We've got our botanist club, our little bookshelf club, and a new little stitch club that we've started. So it's bonkers busy at the moment, but they're in the shop and there will be more. Like I said, we are intending to do our bird yarns again because they're always popular. Um, and if you've been looking at the yarns lately, you know we're doing floral edit. And these are two new, this is a bouquet, which is a main skein and five 20 gram minis. And this is blue pirouette. Oh, this is Clematis. So I'm a big fan of Willow Crossley. Her whole aesthetic, I think, is amazing. And she has, she puts together some beautiful bouquets. And this is inspired by one of her bouquets, which is Clematis wreath that she did. And this is uh, Dahlia Days. And this is a posy. So this is a 100 gram skein and three 20 gram minis. So that's like a... Um, it's almost like a rose gold, soft pinks, sort of aubergines and plums. So that's, and there are some more floral edit colours in, but I, I couldn't bring them all along. But if you click on the website and go to new and featured, or I think we've just rearranged it. So if you go to yarn, you'll see um, folklore and you'll see floral edit and they will all be in there. And the pied wagtail will be under new and featured. So... Is that everything? That's it. I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So now that something else very exciting. I've been carrying on with my slow stitching. Carrying on with my slow stitching and my usual bundle of bits that I walk around with. Well, you know, carry around with me. Um, we're in a magazine this month, which we were excited about. So I don't know if you've ever heard of Breathe magazine, which is lovely because it's you know, advert free, just soothing, beautiful reading. And it's described well-being, mindfulness, creativity, escape. And there's an article in there called Threads of Time. And we're in there with some other very, very talented ladies. Um, KJ Turner and Brooke are mentioned in this mentioned in the same article. There's a mention of Claire Wellesley Smith. Can't get any better than that. But anyway, yes, that's very exciting to be in there. And that was an article on mindful stitch, slow stitching, this, focusing on this that I'm doing and um, how, how it helps me, how it just helps me to relax and focus and put things into perspective and how really simple it is to do and how you know you don't have to follow a pattern you don't have to wonder where you are or how sometimes how to get started is the most difficult thing and we have got a new little club so if you follow me on so my stitching is um on instagram is selvage.chronicles and that's where all my stitching and slow stitching etc is because I wasn't 100% sure if, if you're knitting, you're going to want to see stitching and vice versa. So I did a separate account. And I'm doing a, um, a nature journal. And quite a few people have said how they would love to do it um, and don't know how to get going. So I've put together, we've put together, Christopher and I, or we are putting together, it's a pre-order. It will go out later this month, start going out later this month. And it is... 
it's it's almost like you're going to get a slow stitch bundle so there'll be lots of fabrics in there some of them will be new some of them will be vintage some of them might be a botanically dyed by me there'll be a mixture of things each month depending on what i have to hand and what i've managed to gather sometimes some vintage laces some buttons um just just lovely things for you to add and some threads just things for you to either if you're a, a stitcher that's been stitching for a while it might just be extra things for your stash if you like and if you're new it can get you going and the idea is each month there will be a focus and this month it's going to i say each month we will do our best to do it each month but particularly coming up to christmas it may not be regular you know spot on each month we'll do our best but this month uh, the theme is foliage so when you get your um little parcel come through it will have a focus kind of to get you going and I'm going to have stitched something using the same as you're going to get um, which you can either choose to think oh that's a good leaping off point I'll start by doing that or you might just have your own ideas but the whole idea is that everybody lots of people are going to be sitting there stitching kind of together because you tend to do it's a solitary thing usually that you do um sometimes people just sit quietly some some people read which that blows my mind that people can do that um watch the tv listen to an audio book or just sit quietly with their thoughts and but it's it's so it's a solitary thing that you often do but i think it's lovely to know that other people are doing um a sort of sharing that you're sharing something together so that's the salvage chronicles stitch club and that's in the shop now um, if you're interested in slow stitching and without sort of going on about it again because obviously um, I've oh, needles coming out um, I've talked about this before it's slow stitching is just simply making marks on fabric it's it's picking up a needle and it can be as simple as a running stitch or joining scraps of fabric together or you might like I have I've put an embroidery or some kind of stitching in each month and I have um, I have to be so careful with Willow with all my pins because she's onto anything um, I'm what I'm doing at the moment is my stitch journal so I'm going so it's January um, February with the blackbird March with the robin and then April with the wagtail May with the cow parsley and June which I haven't put on there yet and then I'm going to carry on down the bottom and do the other six months and the idea is that you'll kind of look back and think oh, I remember doing that and it's a record of your year because I've said before I think it's really helpful to kind of be in tune with nature and to to kind of be more aware of what's out there I think I just think it's lovely we Christopher and I went to walk the other day and we noticed that the Rowan trees nearby all the berries are turning orange i think that's lovely and i thought do they normally turn at that time so i think it's nice i'm going to put some rowan berries on here and then next year i'll be able to say yes they did or this is early or late i just think it's lovely i just think nature has so many ways of of helping us really i mean one of my favorite on my birthday my favorite thing to do was just went out for a walk that's what i wanted to do went to a national trust property that's the law if you didn't know on your birthday um, and just yeah just went walking and I always come back feeling better so that's what this is all about if you don't want to do the Selfridge Chronicles Stitch Club but you would still like to see the stitching and get some ideas then, um, and because we've been away in Italy etc there hasn't been much going up there lately but I will try and post on there most days and I have like I said before just a whole range of things this is something else that Sharon bought me this is some linen thread so I've gone, I'm not sticking to specific colours and being rigid because that's not what it's about. But, but I'm going to try and introduce some lavender. So I've got some lavender threads and some cream. And to finish off what I'm doing at the moment, I've got some pinks. So this is the kind of thing you might get, a, you might get a, a little spool of things like this. In the kit you know it takes a long time to collect things like this and it's quite nice to share them and this which is a scrap of liberty 
that's been used for other things have been cut out of it that will be used lovely bit of lace still not used that keep promising to use it haven't actually done it um that bit of fabric that's one of my favorite bits of fabric that that's what i mean i wouldn't dream of throwing that away um yeah all sorts all sorts so that will all i'll carry on with that what i was going to say about that oh breathe magazine if you're in the uk you can get that kind of anywhere i think you're obviously smiths and places like waitrose marks and spencers places like that you can get it if you're in america i think you can buy it in barnes and noble and in canada i think it's whole foods i'm not quite sure oh i think that's what they said so anyway yeah it's a lovely magazine to read if you want to be calm um, what else am I going to say to you? I think that's everything. Yeah, I think that's everything I was going to say. Oh, no, I was going to say, talking of um, slow stitching, lovely, another lovely account to follow is somebody called Liz, and she is Pins and Needles Stitchery on Instagram. And that's a lovely account. I think sometimes if you find a lovely account on Instagram and you're sort of finding it and going through it, it's such a lovely thing to do. Um, yeah. So I've got a few more things to put on here um, to finish. I've got the main main thing to stitch on there for June because I was away in Italy. I took stitching with me. Um, I didn't actually have a moment to do it, to be honest, because, um, well, you know, it was an opportunity to spend time with our little grandson and, and to do things I wouldn't normally do. So actually I didn't get that done, but the, like I said, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put some birds in and some, uh, bats onto there because they were lovely they were just they would come down so close to us when we were sitting we'd sit with our feet in the pool cooling ourselves down chatting with a glass of wine and the bats were there it was so lovely speaking of bats as well Christopher and I are working on something very exciting at the moment which I can't really share yet with you not because it's any great secret it's just because we're still it's not ready but it's um bats form part it's a little a little world that um we're creating um which kind of ties in with our folklore and um yeah bats are, bats are part of it the folklore artisan box um i can't remember if i've mentioned on this this one here before but it's very much a box full of things handmade by us um, but kind of designed to inspire you. So you'll get an embroidery in there and you'll get yarn in there. And they have actually sold out now because we, we, he had a limit as to how many he could make, but we were at one point offering some with bangles in there. These that Christopher, who's untrodden ways on Instagram, the dot untrodden dot ways. And these are his bangles that he's made that are, they have, been to Italy they've been in the pool every day and they're you know testing them out seeing how they are they're absolutely lovely and some of them some of the boxes these were in they've sold out but there are still some boxes left without the bangles in um but he is hoping to have some more of these time allowing fairly soon oh and the other thing is he's if you've seen our folklore, and I don't know if you've seen the Here Steps the Ibex poem, which he wrote, because he won't tell you this, but Christopher um, has a master's in, in his writing, which he got a distinction for. And he's also, he was also being shortlisted for poetry prizes and things like that. So he's very talented in all that, all that kind of way. And this new world that we're coming up with, that we're, we're, um, immersed in ourselves is going to have lots of his poetry in it as well so yeah we're very excited about that and the last thing to say is the floral advent is the advent is sold out out and the one that we've done in the past with foxglove with 20 grams a day and we we can't do any more of them because we um we just won't have the time um we do have we've relisted the floral advent which is a weekly advent which means you get you can either choose to get one of these obviously completely different colorways 
one of these a week, which is a main skein and five 20 gram minis, or you can choose to have a posy a week. And the idea is that you open it each Sunday through December. And um, there are a few left with treats, but I'm going to have to sell that out soon because I'm not going, there's a lot of handmade things in there and I'm, I'm but Christopher and I have got our month worked out day to day, knowing what we've got to do because we've got a lot of these clubs and things coming up and I know that I'm not going to have time, but hopefully the one without treats will be in the shop for a little while yet. Oh yeah, so I think that's it. I've been nattering on for a while now. So I'm going to be working on my crochet, um, starting my Stella McCartney inspired bag and Karen, I'm working on my slow stitching. Um, let me know what you're doing. What are you being creative with and how do you spend your hours? Um, I'd love to know. Thank you so much for spending time to me. I apologise for Willow Boo, although I don't really apologise for her because she's lovely. Um, but she'll be back in from her walk in a minute. Full of bluster. Um, yeah, thank you for spending time to me and wishing you a lovely week.